Happy hour should stay in the past. That's the message from heartbroken families. Anger that the Rhode Island House passed a bill last night that would bring happy hour back to the state. Families who've all been impacted by drunk driving crashes are banding together to speak out against the legislation. They're using state senators, they're urging state senators not to pass it, saying it will make drunk driving worse in the ocean state. But those in favor of the bill say these families are missing the point. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us live in studio now with more. Amanda? Well, Mike Shannon, those in support of the bill say there is a responsible way to do happy hour, but families whose lives have been forever changed by drunk drivers say this legislation is a slap in the face. Don't okay this. Don't pass this. A desperate plea from mourning families to the Rhode Island Senate to not pass the happy hour bill after it passed the House Tuesday 54 to 10. There were 54 members of the Rhode Island House of Representatives that failed our state. Among the families, the Passaretti's who lost their daughter Olivia on New Year's Day and the Denison's who lost their son Matthew last month, both at the hands of alleged drunk drivers. It's not about Matthew and Olivia anymore. It's about protecting those that are still here. The bill would allow for establishments to offer discounted alcoholic drinks, but only with food. Matthew's dad, Mark, says when he heard about the bill, he took it personally. When we started this, this new mission of ours to make some meaningful changes to the drunk driving laws and penalties in the state, we thought we would be going on the offensive. Today, we're on the defensive. This felt like a slap in the face, like nothing that we have gone through what we're going through, none of it even mattered. But those in support of it say there isn't a correlation between these tragedies and what the bill is aiming to do. The purpose of this bill is to promote people coming in at certain times to increase food and beverage sales when a business is not normally busy. And say it can be done responsibly. The majority of these happy hours you're gonna see are gonna be early afternoons when things are monitored even more. We are talking about food. We're involving this happy hour law with food. But these families say lives are more important than businesses. If they were in our place, would an extra dollar matter? I don't think it would matter. I would give every dollar I have to have any of these children back. Now that the House has passed it, the bill will go to the Senate for consideration. Live in the studio tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.